Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today with the next topic, the full subtractor implementation using the universal gates. All right, we've seen the full subtractors normally, but today we see them with what? With the with the uh, universal gates. All right, as we saw the adders previously. Okay, so we have the NAND gates. Let's say first. Okay, so you draw the circuit diagram with me, and later then we understand. Okay. So let's say we have it like this, the first, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. All right now. Now we're here. We have what? We have the difference over here. Okay, this will be giving us the difference. Now, how to combine them? So we have the inputs. Let's say we have a. The first input is a is given to this gate. It's given to this gate. The next input, let's say, is b, which is given to this gate and is given to this gate. Now the output of these two is combined like this and the output of these two like this. Finally when we have this output, this output is given directly to this gate over here we have a exclusive or B. Alright, this is a exclusive or B, okay? Now if you have the next, uh, the C, the C uh, input, so Oh wait, this A exclusive or B is given to this gate as well. Alright, and now the next input, the C input, this A is given to this gate and this is given to this gate. Alright, and now you have what? You have the outputs of these gates which are given like this and the output of these gates are given like this and finally we have the difference D. So let me write it down properly. So this is the difference. All right. Now for the borrow, for the borrow, you have what? You have outputs from this gate and this gate. All right. And you name them together. Uh, so which color should I use? Well, it's in the green, so I will use the green. So this one and this one. Now these two are nanded together and they will give you the bar. Now how is that? So I think if you're proving it uh, by the stepwise here you have A ended with B then A ended, nanded with an A ended with B. This over here is a B nanded with A nanded with B. So this will take time and this is a little difficult. So we saw, we saw, we do it through the same method that we did in the full subtractors. All right, last time we give it some values and we checked for that, for those values. All right. So let's say, so let's say if they are all one, A is one, B is one, C is one. So the borrow has to be one and the carry has to be one. All right, the borrow has to be one and the carry has to be one. When is this like this? When, when A, B and C are all one. So, so we check it now, okay? So let's say we have a one, A is one, B is one. So over here we have a one, here we have a one, here we have a one, over here. And C is a one also, so we have one directly here and over here also. Now we check, so one any with one is zero, which means here is zero and here is zero. One with zero, is a one. One with zero is a one similarly. So we have a one over here, we have a one over here, we have a one over here. Fine. One with one is a zero. All right. Which means zero comes here and zero comes here. Now zero with one is a one. Which means one is here, one is here. Now one one is a zero and zero one is a one. So one is here, zero is here. So one zero is now again a one. And now one zero is again a one. So borrow is one and the difference is one. 
borrow and this different this is difference all right so this difference is one which means the first case we had it correctly all right now you give me a second choice okay what should I take the values of a b and c you tell me huh okay so you're not telling me so which means I'll take it again by my choice okay so let's say we have uh, the values of a b and c as 1 1 and 0 respectively okay a is 1 b is 1 and c is 0 so in this case we have the borrow as 0 and the difference as 0 all right you know how if you don't know you watched that video previously in the full subtractors so here okay so a is 1 b is 1 c is 0 okay previously it was a 1 all right so we're here we have a one here we have one here we have a one here we have a one so here we have a zero and here we have a zero all right now one one will give you what will give you a zero so zero comes here zero comes here now zero one will give you again a one one zero will give you again a one okay so which means one comes here one comes here and one comes here one one will now give you a zero again okay so zero comes here and zero comes here now uh, zero zero it will give you what it will give you a one so which means one comes here and one comes here so now this one zero it will give you a one and this one zero it will give you one again so which means one comes here one comes here one comes here now one one will give you a zero and one and one will again give you a zero which means the borrow is one and the borrow is zero and the difference is zero again and it's proved like this again all right, so this is about using the NAND gate as a full, sub, full subtractor using the NAND gate. We have the full subtractors again using the NOR gate as well, but not, not commonly used. They are again a little complex to use. I draw it over here. I take one simple example, 110, let's say, and I prove it for you, but that is not widely used. All right. Okay, so now this is the circuit diagram while using the full sub, while making the full subtractor using NOR gates only. All right okay now again let us take some example let's say we have a is 1 b is 0 and c is 0 so this will give us a difference of uh, what this will give us a difference of 1 and borrow of uh, 0 all right all right so let's say we have it okay 1 0 0 okay so which means over here we have a 1 here we have a 0 here we have a 0 here we have a 1 and for C over here we have 0 and over here we have 0 fine so now 1 nord with 0 will give you a 0 so which means here is a 0 and here is a 0 now 0 with 0 will give you a 1 over here, 1 with 0 will give you a 0, which means over here we have 1, here we have 0, here we have a 0 also. Now, 0 with 1 would give you what? It would give you a 0. And, and, and this is now used for complement, so 0 with 0 will give you a 1. Which means now, here we have a 1, and here we have a 1. Now, this 1, 0, this will give you again a 0. So here we have a zero and here we have a zero. One zero will give you a zero. So here we have zero, all right? Okay. Now this zero zero, it will give you a one. So we have a one zero, okay? Now zero zero, this will give you a one. And one one will give you a zero, which means uh, this is the complement. So we have borrow of zero, which is correct, all right? So the borrow is correct. Now for the difference, over here we have a 0, 1, so 0 nor with a 1 will give you a 0. And this is now acting as a complement, as a nor, not gate, so zero, 0 with 0 itself would give you a difference of a 1. And here we have the difference 1, so this is absolutely correct. So I'm feeling a little tired now. So I cannot do another example. If you want to have another example, take the values of A, B and C as 0, 1, 1 and solve it for yourself and check whether it's giving you the correct output or not okay so this is about the full subtractors using universal gates 
that's all about today see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do subscribe to the youtube channel goodbye